Okay, so for our activity today, you're gonna need a few supplies that I've left on your table. Um, you're gonna need access to glue, which you can share, and scissors. You'll find pink papers. You only need one of the problems on there. It's a sheet of identical uh, papers to save paper. <clears throat> Go ahead and trim around it. Get as close to the words as you can without cutting them off so that it will fit into your notebook. And there is a recycling bin at the end of your table so you guys can take care of that as well. And then this is two on one. So you're gonna wanna cut it down the middle here and share this with somebody else. You only need one part of this. We're cutting on all of the dotted lines, but not the solid lines. So that it is like this, but there's two more cuts to make. We are gonna cut here and here. And now we're ready for the gluing. So you're going to open your notebook to page 30. And we're going to glue in this by simply folding this over on the solid line and putting some dots of glue on the back of that. Again, we haven't glued in a while. Remember our phrase, dot, dot, but not a lot. And go ahead and glue that down. Press on it so it doesn't move. And what will be nice about this is we'll be able to flip those open. And then we're also going to glue this problem on the page underneath. And you'll see again why I wanted you to cut it really close to the words because it barely, barely fits on the page. Some of you who have um, a composition book might need to only glue half of it and fold it over or something so that it fits in your book. Okay. So there are foldables in the book. Now we are going to work on using this foldable to help us solve word ratio problems. We need to set up a proportion for the problem here. Miss Moyer commutes to work 34 miles one way each day. If she commutes to work 20 days in one month, how many total miles will she commute to and from? Well, to fill out our word ratio, we have to ask ourselves this question. What is being compared? What is being compared? And when I'm looking at the comparisons in this word problem, I have miles and I have days. Those are the two things being compared. So for my word ratio, I'm going to make it be miles over days. Now I'm going to go back through my problem because when I'm setting up a proportion, there's always in a word problem information where we can completely set up the first ratio. And that's what we call our known ratio, the ratio that in the problem we can see both parts. And here it is, 34 miles each day. So if I'm looking at my word ratio and trying to set up my known ratio, how many miles do we have? 34. How many days do we have? She does that each day, so that would be one day. Now we're gonna set up our unknown ratio, and this is where the question in the word problem comes in. If she commutes to work 20 days in one month, there we go, we know how many days, so we can go to our unknown ratio and we can fill in that it's 20 days, the question is gonna tell us where to put our variable. How many total miles will she commute to and from home? There's our question, how many total miles? That means we put our variable there. Now that it's set up as a proportion, we can cross multiply to solve. So if I'm cross multiplying this, I would do 34 times 20 equals 1x. 34 times 20 gets us 680 equals 1x. We're lucky that in this problem the uh, 
this number here is a 1 because we're dividing by the 1, which means we're just going to come up with 680 miles as the answer to our problem. And that completes our page for today.